Hi everyone, this is CVGS, I'm Dempster and I have a lot of news to share with you today about Battle Spirits. Uh, recently on March 7th, 2018, uh, the Battle Spirits official channel for YouTube and Fresh Live TV released uh, the first episode in their, na- uh, their latest series called Battle Speed Saishin Joho Hapyokai or in Japan, uh, or in English it's Battle Spirits latest news updates and announcement thing, program. Because I, I can't really remember what Kai means right off the bat. But anyway, this show is uh, hosted by Kiyama Shigeo, aggressive, an aggressive Kenta, uh, with this week's guest being uh, these four people, the following people. Uh, first of all, Sugita Tomokazu, which many of you will know him as Sakata Gintoki from Gintama, but also uh, he also played a huge role in Battle Spirits Burning Soul as Horyokuin Kanetsugu. And of course, uh, the, the next few will be Tsukino Moa from Kamen Joshi. Uh, she's also a, one of the hosts in Battle Spirits Extreme Game. Uh, and of course, the Red and Blue Guardians Arai Ryohei and Ogawa Shohei, respectively. So, in this 40 plus minute video, they talked about a lot of things that uh, will be happening for, the, for this year for Battle Spirits. So, I'm just gonna go through some of them uh, in as much detail as I can. And hopefully, I don't bore you out by the end of this video. But Hopefully you guys are very very hyped, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that they talked about is obviously the upcoming booster set, uh, which is a collaboration booster for Kamen Rider. Uh, not only will Kamen Rider be getting a new booster set, they will also be getting the very first collaboration trial deck or start deck, uh, which is called Kamen Rider Reimagination, uh, which will be out on the 24th of March, which is very very soon. So for those of you who are Kamen Rider fans or for those of you who want to get into Battle Spirits because of Kamen Rider, this is the perfect time for you to do so because a lot of these cards are really very strong, really promising, very powerful and I believe they can last on a few for quite a long long time. So uh, other than that, they also talked about uh, in depth about the new mechanic that comes with the Kamen Rider set called Change. Change is essentially like Axel where you pay the cost for the, the change cost and activate it from your hand. Uh, but instead of putting it to the open zone after that, which is what Axel does, uh, you can either discard that card or you switch uh, this card, that card with a cost 6 or below spirit with the family name Kamen from your field and then switch it uh, onto the field in refresh state. So basically, you know, you, you're, you're changing forms in, in, like, in true Kamen Rider sense, which is very amazing. So, um, from this example that I'm looking at right now, uh, this is Kamen Rider DK uh, Light Booker Equipment. So it's got the change skill. Uh, the change skill is a cost 6 reduction 3. Uh, so you destroy as many opposing spirits as you like. Uh, that totals up to 12k BP. After activating that effect, uh, you can either discard this card or switch this card with a cost 6 and below spirit with a family name Kamen from your field uh, in refresh state. If it's in the middle of a battle, the battle will continue. So basically, let's say for example, you already have a spirit that's attacking, uh, a Kamen that's already attacking, and then you activate the change cost, uh, you activate the change for, for Kamen Rider right, uh, right Booker, and uh, you, can, you can switch it out, and then the battle will continue as Kamen Rider right Booker. So this is a very strong skill, uh, uh, it's a very strong mechanic that uh, I would I feel that Kamen Rider has and it's very, something very unique to them as well and not only that, if you have enough cost to pay, you can actually keep on activating change until you run out or until your opponent is down, which is very very strong I feel. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure how this Kamen Rider set will be in the future but holy hell from what I see this is very very amazing. Alright, so for the next point, I'll be talking about the new series that will be coming in starting from BS44 and this is in Japanese Shin Koring Hen. Uh, in English, I believe it will be either be God Radiant Design Arc or the Grand Radiant Design Arc or Divine Radiant Design Arc. Whichever it is, Shin Koring Hen is going to be a thing starting from BS44. Now there will be a few new mechanics and few new uh, and a new gimmick. Uh, and this gim- this new gimmick is called Grand Walker Nexus. Now Grand Walker Nexus are very different from the original Nexus. So um, a lot of cards that target like say destroy Nexus or whatever cannot affect Grand Walker Nexus. It is that strong. Now the Grand Walker Nexus is, uh, is, is like I said, is a new kind of Nexus card that uh, has a few very strong abilities. Now the first, the first skill that they have is Core Charge. Core Charge basically is, um, and by the way, Core Charge has the same kanji as Oracle in Vanguard, so oh well. <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> Core Charge basically means that you know, whenever you summon a spirit or a brave 
that fulfills the call charge condition you can add one call from the void to this grand walker nexus and don't forget uh grand walker nexuses is made in such a way that you cannot add calls from your reserve to it as per normal uh you can only add it through the void and also it cannot be the target of any uh, nexus destruction unless it states that you destroy the grand walker nexus in state and not only that um the vo the calls cannot be removed as well unless they are using they are being used to pay the as cost for the following skills that the grand walker nexus has uh, the next one I'm I'll be talking about is Grand Skill. Uh, Grand Skill is basically, uh, it's usually a level 1 skill. Uh, so basically they have like, by, by sending calls from that Grand Walker Nexus to the Void, you can activate certain really, really strong abilities. So you can imagine how painful it will be uh, and how much this will change the whole Battle Spirits scene. And lastly, uh, the third skill that they have is Grand Field. Grand Field basically are mostly level 2 uh, Grand Walker Nexus effects that will affect the whole of your uh, whatever spirits that you have on your field. So for example, you're looking at this uh, this Grand Walker Nexus right now, this is Bashin Dang. Uh, his, level, his level 2 Grand Field skill is uh, at the end of the, the battle that your Brave Spirit attacks, send one call from our opponents live to the reserve. So skills like this are really, really very strong uh, and they can potentially change the tide of the battle uh, depending on what you do to it and how you use it. Now if you look at the bottom right hand, con uh, bottom right -hand corner of the Grand Walker Nexus, you see a very different symbol. Now this is the new symbol that will be coming along with the Grand Walker ne uh, Nexus called God Symbol. I am not making, I'm not making this up, I swear. The God Nexus, uh, to me, the, the God symbol to me looks like a, some kind of a, like aquamarine teardrop or it could be turquoise, I'm not too sure. But it looks very amazing and uh, so far as I know, it is very similar to the ultimate gold symbols. Uh, so it cannot be used for any other color re uh, cost reductions other than for the Grand Walker Nexus itself. So you can play multiple copies, hooray! <laughs> Now this Grand Walker Nexus will be introduced in uh, the, the upcoming Dream Deck for both Bashin Dang and Ta uh, Tsurugi Tatewaki uh, which will be released on the 7th of April. But of course if you want more very Grand Walker Nexuses, they can also be found in the upcoming first volume of the Shin Korihen Booster Pack series BS44 which will be released on the 21st of April. Now, along with this, there will be a few changes, um, both in rarity as uh, both in rarity count distribution as well as uh, a new rarity. Now, let me just talk about the the rarity distribution first. Now, until now, uh, each pack will be two hundred yen plus tax, uh, so you can calculate however you want in there. Uh, and there will be eight cards in every pack, uh, with one pack with one card being one uh, one rare and above. But for the new booster distribution set. Um, one pack will be 270 yen plus tax, there will be 9 cards in there and the rarity chance will be 1.5. So there is half a chance that you get one more extra rare card within that pack of 9. As for the boxes themselves, uh, the, uh, the, the, the original one is currently 4,000 yen plus tax with 20 packs included, uh, 4 master rares and 2 x rares. But in the new set, uh, the new format, uh, the booster back, the, boost, the boxes will be 4,320 yen plus tax with 16 packs in there, uh, but the master rare and x rare has been boosted up to 6 and 3 respectively. And not only that, there is a new rarity that I mentioned before called the 10th x rare. Now this cards are really really very strong and uh, from what I've seen in the, the this episode uh, the, the guardian the guests and the MCs themselves have already taken a gander at what the card is but it is still a mystery to all of us so uh, until the time we actually get to see it it is still a mystery if you're a fan of Shikitsuru Sang don't worry there is a new episode and that's already out uh, go watch it it's very funny and really stupid and uh, when you watch it, you will question your existence. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just kidding. It's very entertaining. Just go watch it. It's super fun. Now, the next point will not really affect us as much as the Japanese, but uh, if you're following the Battle Spirits Extreme Game, uh, which is an entertainment show just solely based on Battle Spirits, uh, if you've been following it either from the start or like in the middle as uh, like I am, you'll be very happy to know that they have renewed the contract for, the, for 2018. So for this upcoming financial year, you'll get to see even more exciting plays from, uh, from players around Japan as well as the Guardians themselves. Uh, so... 
Hooray! Rejoice! This is very amazing news. Uh, and one more thing that you're looking at right now, uh, this is the current um, the current victory ranking for the Guardians themselves. So you can see, as you can see, the Blue Guardian, Gogawa Shohei, currently is st uh, stands at number one with eight fights and seven victories with a with a victory rating of 88%. Second goes to Shukuri, the White Guardian, which is very strong by the way. Uh, he has he has fought in six matches and won five with a rating of 83%. Uh, third comes, uh, the third is Sakaguchi Shuhei, uh, which those of you who play Japanese football should know he's the he's the voice actor for Hanzo. Uh, he has four rounds and three victories, which gives him a victory rating of seventy five percent. And the fourth is Arai Ryohei, ten battles, seven victories with a victory rate of seventy percent. Fifth goes to Yaki, he <laughs> the Hello Guardian. He's only appeared in two fights, but he has won one, so it gives him a, a win rate of fifty percent. And lastly. Usui Takeshi, the Green Guardian, with a victory rating of 40%, with 5 matches and 2 wins. Don't worry, Usui Sang, you will be even better from now on. <laughs> now, with the victory rating out of the way, there will be a new format for the upcoming Battle Spirits Extreme game uh, called Limited Building Battle. Uh, it's largely the same as the original uh, Extreme game, whereby three people will come together in one team and. Uh, have a showdown with the opposing team and the first team that reaches two wins will proceed to the guardian stage but instead of using whatever deck that they can uh, they can bring to to counter certain decks here and there uh, they will be building a, a deck on the spot uh, on the day that they film the battles and they have two hours to build three decks for each member to use now the cards they'll be using will come from uh, whatever whatever set that's most recent to them or for that month as well as the booster that comes before that so um the, the, the three copy per card rule applies to the whole team now instead of just uh, a certain individ uh, individual. So let's say you have a certain card that you want to use. Uh, say We'll call this card A for instance. Uh, if you want to use three copies, but the, two of the, the, the other two members will not be able to use it unless you distribute it e e evenly. So it's either three, the three person use one copy of each or one person use two copies and one person use one copy and the other person don't use it at all. Or best, no one use. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, so this provides a lot more challenge in deck building because you really have to think about what, uh, what strategy you want to adopt when, when building a deck, what playstyle you want to play with and what color you want to use. Of course, mixed color would be a very common thing because the color distribution can be a little different uh, depending on what uh, what set it is from. But not only that, uh, the it's not just the players that will have to do this. The Guardians themselves will also be doing the same thing. They'll be building cards, uh, they'll be building a deck from whatever cards that they can get from that set and the set before it. And not only that, the Guardians have the extra challenge of building a deck that is bound by their own color. Otherwise, they, are, they, they won't be Guardians for nothing, right? So, uh, yeah. So with the color as a main theme, they have to build something around it. So this really boils down to um, whoever has the greater mind in terms of deck, uh, deck building as well. Of course, skills and luck come in as a factor for the game as well. But the main thing still comes from building the deck from the very start. The Guardians will also no longer be able to use their extreme cards. So the the unfair challenge is no longer there. It's now a fair fight, one on one, no holes barred. With the new changes to the three on three stage, there will also be new changes to the Guardian stage. So if the team manages to defeat one Guardian, they will be awarded the prize money of fifty thousand yen. Fifty thousand yen, and a special limited edition live counter that you can only get from the Battle Spirits Extreme game. If they defeat two Guardians, they will be awarded the prize money of one hundred thousand yen. And if they defeat all three, they have a choice of walking away with 300,000 yen or get the right to face the king, which is Kiyama Shigeo. If the team decides to face the king and win, of course they'll be awarded the 1 million uh, yen in prize money. But if they don't win, they will forfeit the 300,000 yen that they've uh, accumulated thus far. I'm not exactly too sure whether they will be keeping the 50k yen, the live counter and the, the 100k yen, but only time will tell. Now for my final point, I'm sure you guys know by now, Battle Spirits is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. So they have announced something called the Battle Spirits 10th Anniversary Project, uh, and one of them includes the 10th Anniversary Battle Regulation for short tournaments all around Japan. So this new format for the month of April, they, will be, uh, they have announced something called the Shonen Topa Battle, uh, in which players can participate with the decks uh, that have been created and built according to this very regulation. So the regulation states as such, uh, players can only use spirits, nexus and magic and they won't get any soul calls and the burst will not be there. Uh, so it's literally OG, 
um, Battle Spirit Shonen Topa Bashin format, which is what um, Battle Spirits first started in. Not only that, they have also announced the 10th uh, anniversary manga that will be starting in April for the Saikyo Jump Mei issue. Uh, so this new story um, it actually focuses on Shunta's story uh, from Double Drive and uh, they w- there will be other protagonists that will be appearing in the manga as well. Uh, more details, you can find them on the Battle Spirits uh, official websites. And there you have it, that does it for this week's or hopefully this month's episode of Battle Speed Saishin Joho Hapyo Kai. I'm actually very excited and very hyped, uh, hyped about all these uh, releases that are coming very soon. And I really can't wait, uh, we can't wait to bring out all these new content for you guys for this whole year for Battle Spirits. So if you guys like uh, what you see uh, and want to see more contents, um, more Battle Spirits contents coming from us, do consider subscribing to us here on CVGS and ring the bell so you can be part of the notification team. I will not say squad because it's too generic. Uh, the team, so that you can be notified of all of our updates. They're mostly impromptu right now, but you'll get first dips on when they appear. And only that, follow us on our socials, join us on our Discord server, and of course support us on Patreon if you want to support the show directly. The links are all in the description below. So with that said, thank you all very very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy or lis- uh, watching or listening this to this video. I hope you I hope I, uh, I didn't bore you guys out, so sorry if I do. But thank you all very much for watching once again. Have fun playing Battle Spirits, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!